Uh, one one area that baffles me, okay, that I want you to weigh in on. See, um, in a place like Nigeria or Africa, where there is so much unemployment, and you see all these youths trying to get ahead by speculating in crypto, you would think that government will encourage them. <laughs> At least they are going to be earning dollars and all that. Okay, they have no work. They have nothing else to do. They have a little money, 20 bucks, 50 bucks, that they're trying to use to speculate on all these meme coins or whatever. I will have thought that government probably will encourage, figure out a way to make it safer by having some good regulations as opposed to banning the whole thing where they are saying if you are using money to buy crypto, they're going to close your account, they're going to do this. So can you explain these government attitudes and regulations surrounding uh, cryptocurrencies in different countries, maybe with a uh, special emphasis on the area that you operate in, which is Africa. Why is government like this? Should they be like that? Do you want to explain to us or preach to us why we should understand or why we should go and preach against them? I don't know. All right. All right. What right. else? Right. <laughs> government. Huh? All, All right. right. All right. So, right? <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> All right, so let me really jump on this quickly because this is one part of, yeah. of the conversation that I have very strong interest on. The truth is yes. that, uh, <clears throat> in fact, uh, when the NSA started, the, the police brutality uh, uh, protest started in Nigeria, one of the things that got government shocked is the fact that when they ban all of the payment gateways from people remitting funds, more like <clears throat> more like we have the truckers crisis that happened in Canada, uh, our own case here in Nigeria, which is the NSAS, uh, people started supporting with their cash donation and everything. They banned the government actually uh, make sure that that didn't go through. So they started using Bitcoin. So that's actually sending a message to government that people can actually uh, finance uh, their interests using digital assets. So before then, they have actually issued warning. Uh, yeah, they actually issued warning as way back as 20, 2013. They came up with a warning that Nigerians should be careful of of cryptocurrencies that they are involved in, but they use that as, as the asset to come up again that um, Nigerians need to stay away from cryptocurrencies. Then came up with uh, an outright ban of crypto transaction from the bank because ordinarily you cannot ban crypto. It is money over internet protocol, MOIP. You know, you can't ban, you can't, that means you want to, you, 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 you can't stop the internet from, as far as internet, you can always do transaction because the technology around the uh, Bitcoin is also uh, all of the most big uh, cryptocurrencies are uh, P2P, that is person to person. As long as you're in the network, you can make transactions possible. So the attitude of government, you know, government is actually all about control. Government is about control. And when they are seeing that people are actually making certain things, in our case here in Nigeria, make things work, uh, uh, we have millionaires coming out of, of the cryptocurrency industry because he, by just exchanging Bitcoin in form of remittance for those abroad, rather than use your traditional traditional banking system, you can make life out of it. You know, so they don't want their foreign reserve to to deplete because there's no point using the bank anymore. Like before, where I would go receive money for my uncle. Uh, for his project here in Nigeria, where I will use Western Union. You don't have to do that. Somebody can just open a wallet and send money to you in different parts of the world, and you just exchange in the P2P market, and bam, you have your cash at hand. So they are scared, and they are seeing it like, man, we are about control, and these guys are going away from our hands. So they have to put regulations around it, certain amounts that you need to transact, and setting... Uh, cryptocurrency that you need to transact with at, at some point in time. But this is something that we, we think that uh, it also, in a way, uh, we help the industry because anything that is backed by government has some level of legitimacy. People are saying it like, oh, this thing is bad because it doesn't have government backing in some sort. But uh, with what is happening in Europe, there's a Mika bill, which is market uh, market uh, market in, uh, in crypto asset uh, bill that has been passed, actually has given certain certain kind of framework to crypto regulations in Europe. Uh, Nigeria uh, probably will see the, 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 the light at the end of the tunnel because this current administration is saying that they're going to uh, give uh, attention to 
cryptocurrencies and blockchain and on how it affects finance. So it's a it's a it's a good attitude, but the last administration of uh, uh, our last president, President uh, Mohamed Buhari, has been very terrible in crypto. All right. Well, um, that's a, it's good to hear from your own side. I'm sure at one point in time, I'm going to bring in a government official, especially maybe one from the CBN, uh, if I can maybe convince uh, people who are practicing CBN to come in and explain why um, this is a bad idea, because you are looking at it from your point of view. They are saying that no responsible government can just leave it a, a currency to start creating a rival to the official currency in the country. And I think they probably have a point there, because if the government can't control its own currency or currency operating in this country, how is going to keep it together? What I had thought, because I don't expect them to allow cryptocurrency to just run on its own. That would be irresponsible. What I had expected is for them to have co-opted it somehow in a way where they're exercising some control while at the same time allowing people to go because this is not likely to go away. They're just driving it underground and creating unnecessary bottlenecks 